trade war over. China caves hours after President Trump lays down the law. The mainstream media and political pundits, from both sides of the aisle, have doubted the genius of President Donald Trump from day one. Each time they doubt him, he proves them wrong, which is a lesson that China is learning the hard way. Under immense pressure from President Donald Trump, China's President Xi Jinping announced that he was going to lower import taxes on foreign automakers and open China's markets to foreign companies. Translation, President Trump called China's bluff, and now they are caving. President Xi was speaking at a business conference when he made the announcement, and though he did not mention President Trump's name, the themes he referenced were in direct relation to the sticking points that have aggravated the American president in trade between the two powerful nations. President Xi pledged to protect the intellectual property rights of foreign nations and to open his nation's banking and finance industry to foreign ownership, the Associated Press reported. China's door of opening up will not be closed and will only open wider, President Xi said at the Boeo Forum for Asia, which took place on the southern island of Hainan. He said that China would significantly lower tariffs on foreign autos and reduce the restrictions it has on foreign ownership in the auto industry as soon as possible. Trump has threatened to raise tariffs on Chinese goods worth $50 billion in response to complaints Beijing pressures foreign companies to hand over technology in violation of its market opening pledges. Beijing responded with its own $50 billion list of U.S. goods for possible retaliation, the Associated Press wrote. The Chinese leader didn't refer directly to the dispute but promised to encourage normal technological exchange and to protect the lawful ownership rights of foreign enterprises, it said. What is most astounding, and least likely to be reported by the mainstream media which cannot stand to report any of the president's successes, is that President Xi's announcement came hours after President Trump tweeted on China's heavy tariffs on American autos imported into the nation. When a car is sent to the United States from China, there is a tariff to be paid of 2.5%. When a car is sent to China from the United States, there is a tariff to be paid of 25%. Does that sound like free or fair trade? No, it sounds like stupid trade, going on for years, he said. In the meantime, pundits from the Republican Party establishment, often called Renos or Republicans in name only, along with their counterparts on the Democrat side, have cried that the sky would fall and a catastrophic trade war would come that would devastate the United States. But President Trump, a consummate businessman and master of the art of the deal, knew better. He knew that China needs the United States more than the United States needs China, and he used that leverage to pressure China into ending its tyrannical trade practices. For his part, it is apparent that President Xi quickly realized that he was not dealing with some mealy-mouthed, spineless talker, but rather a man of action who was going to be true to his word. Not the type of politician that the Chinese, or anyone else in the world, is used to dealing with. It is the reason that the president continues to take everyone by surprise. President Xi decided that he wanted to engage in a game of high-stakes chess against President Trump, and our president met that challenge. Checkmate Xi.